Ladies and gentlemen, it is Derby Day in the city of Hamilton, Ontario, with York United in town to take on Forge. So there are two changes to this 11 in the 4-3-3. That is Rezard Rama in at right back and Alessandro Hojabrapur into midfield. There is a notable absence on the York United side of things today, and that is the absence of Mobabuli. Petrasso. That's a good ball for Di Rosario. Cuts it back away from Olabi Balawu. Ashen Yodianson. That is a goal saving defensive lunge. 21. Line drive ball again. Trying to keep it out wide. It was looking to Johnston. Over for Diro. Gee, excuse me. Heads up. In for Schwanier. Back out for Rama. Somehow finds Wubens Basias and numbers. Back for Poku, left foot, and absolutely hooks that away from goal. Schwanier. Looks off Rama again, stays with him. Schwanier, low ball that is caught, smothered, and extinguished by Himeris. Rama. Control from Borges. Mordekudis, Wilson both closed down, but that leaves Schwanier unattended. That beats Schwanier trying to put it through the legs, still with him. Schwanier, what's he going to do to his left? Schwanier up right at Himaris. Might have time for one last push. They have to go forward if the referee does, in fact, decide. No time to be added. They have an opening. It's Petrasso. Michael Petrasso, the shot! What a stop from Henry! Petrasso could have made it 1-0. It's expertly struck, but Henry's up to the task. Receives the redistribution from Elias Himeris, the York United goalkeeper once again today. Tristan Henry in the forge net. Poku in for Campbell. Very good pass. Borges denied. Himeris gets that leg extended. Schwanier, Borges floated up, Jimenez can't get there! On the doorstep, the header, and Forge lead! Rewarded for this fantastic pressure that they have started the second period with. Kwesi Poku climbs the ladder, his first goal for Forge. One of the first entries to the final third for York United in this second half. goes Petrasso, has some separation, his cross, high over the head of Ferrari, leaping back and reaching back as Henry to make the catch. Shallow ball this time, doesn't find Ashinyoti Janssen, but it's caught right back up, a mistake, and it's a capitalization from Abubakar Sissoko. Runs right to his gaffer as he has his fourth goal of the year and just about cementing the three points on the day. Here's how it all goes down. Laurie Latanzio to no man's land. Sissoko says thank you very much. Ujabrapur screening the goalkeeper. Dives to avoid the shooting lane. And is the first to pick up the ball. It is a screamer from Sissoko and forge lead by two goals to nil. Latanzio, that's better. Finds Paris G, decision time. Well weighted, Dero gets up, gets his head to it, but puts it over the crossbar harmlessly. Nice hustle from Emery Welshman, it finds Hijab Rapur. Back for Emery. Head up, eyes up. Besides the best move, it's just a short pass for Hijab Rapur. Samuel back for Welshman, return, Samuel! Wasn't sure if he was going to try and sneak that under the crossbar or cross it. It's dangerous regardless. An ugly first half, but a much better, much more forge feeling second half as they get goals from Aliko Olavibello and Abubakar Sissoko.
and secure the full three points. They take over that second spot from Pacific as Tristan Henry pads his lead atop the CPL's all-time clean sheet column on 31, his 39th across all competitions, and a much better second half for Bobby Smirniotis and company.